All the comets that we can see from Earth are orbiting the Sun, but some belong to a special group called sun-grazing comets. Scientists think one extremely large sun-grazing comet broke up hundreds or even thousands of years ago, and the current comets on the Kreutz path are the leftover fragments of it. As clumps of remnants make their way back around the Sun, we experience a sharp increase in sun-grazing comets, which appears to be going on now. Comet Lovejoy, which reached perihelion on December 15, 2011, is the best-known recent Kreutz Group sun-grazer, and so far it is the only one that NASA's Solar Observing Fleet has seen survive its trip around the Sun. Comet Ison, an upcoming sun-grazer with perihelion on November 28, 2013, is not on the Kreutz path. In fact, Ison's orbit suggests that it may gain enough momentum to escape the solar system entirely and never return. Before it does so, it will pass within about 40 million miles from Earth on December 26th, assuming it survives its trip around the Sun. All comets are great laboratories for scientists to learn more about our solar system, but sun-grazing comets can also help us learn about the Sun. Their tails of ionized gas illuminate invisible magnetic fields, so they can act as a tracer, helping scientists observe these normally unseeable features. Such fields have even ripped off comet tails, allowing astronomers to watch them blowing in the solar wind, a wind that abruptly accelerates between 1 and 5 million miles from the Sun. Because of this, researchers will be watching Ison and other sun-grazing comets very closely. And since we are in a period of high sun-grazing comet activity, Scientists can expect many more chances to watch these beautiful, natural research satellites in the coming years.